In this video, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step how to create a sale receipt inside of Soho Books. It is super easy to do. So the first thing you need to do is open up Soho Books like you usually would. Then from here, you need to go over to the sales icon over here in the left-hand corner. Then from here, you need to go down to sell receipt. And right beside that, you'll see this little plus icon. This you need to create. Then from here, you can add a customer name. And for this example, I'm just going to use this one in particular. Then from here, you need to add a receipt date. And for my example, it's going to be today. Then you can add a sell receipt. You can customize this however you want, but Soho Books will auto generate one for you. Then from here, you need to add in a salesperson. And you can either select an already existing salesperson or add a new salesperson down here. Then from here, you need to write in the items that you have sold. In the item detail, you can either add a new item or you can just write in your item by hand or manually. Then you can add the quantity of the products. You can add a rate and you can add a tax rate if you have that. Then from here, you can see the total amount over here. Then you can add a new row or you can add items in bulk. Then from here, you'll see the subtotal and here you can change the shipping charges if you want to do that. And you can add in adjustments if you want to do that. Then from here, you can also add a customer note and this will be displayed on the sale receipt. Then you can add the terms and conditions. And you can also attach file to the receipt by uploading it here. But you need to be aware that you can upload maximum of five files and each of them needs to be less than 10 megabyte each. Then from here, down here in the payment details, you have the payment mode. And here you can either change cash, bank transfer, bank remittance, check, credit card, online payment, or you can configure a new payment method. Then from here you can deposit to, and you can add it to either petty cash or undeposit funds. You can also down here add in your reference number. Then from here you simply need to click save and send when you're all done. And when that has been clicked, you can see that it is been ready to send. And to send it, you simply need to scroll down until you see the send button down here. And when you click on that, you can see the sale reset has been mailed. And that's how you do it. If you have any questions about it, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them as quickly as possible. See ya!